right friends welcome back to ninth part and this is the third capsule for uh, 52nd week and uh, here the first issue is with regard to rlvtd and the scramjet these two are very important and rlvtd that is reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator and as well as a scramjet and before going into it we deliberated about what are various types of rockets or launch vehicles just like PSLV C31 32 33 34 like that and what are various types of satellites we have given here please go through them and here there is two problems with regard to the rockets rocket is going to the space and it is not coming back after launching satellite that is one problem and the second problem is if it takes atmospheric oxygen then the payload can be increased or the weight of satellite which it can place in orbit can be increased so to overcome these two problems recently that means in the year 2016 two important aspects were completed by ISRO one is RLVTD that is a reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator that means this is the experiment once it becomes a reality the rocket will go and launch a satellite and it will come back and the second one is with regard to scramjet engine here the engine will take the atmospheric oxygen this is also known as air breathing propulsion system so these are two important experiments were done during the EO by ISRO very very important then another important aspect is logistics exchange memorandum of agreement with the USA we discussed about various aspects or a saga of defense relations with the USA during the past several years through this slide and at the same time the features of LEMO we deliberated in detail which will include using each other's assets and bases right this is about the LEMO and if you look at the next aspect alternative to pellet guns was suggested by TVS and Prasad committee and alternatives to pellet guns he suggested power shells power means pelargonic acid vanillyl amide shells these are also known as non-evamide or chili filled grenades all are one and the same this is one aspect then government decided loans at 7% interest rate will be given for SHGs up to rupees 3 lakh so here is interest subvention will be borne by the central government just like for agriculture loans so if someone talks about interest subvention the meaning is the interest borne by the central government on behalf of poor people on behalf of poor agricultural farmers like that then if you look into the next issue that is UN joint investigative mechanism says that Syria used chemical weapons in the previous part we discussed about the conventional weapons incendiary weapons or conventional weapons they are banned only in civilian areas but chemical weapons are to be eliminated altogether various types of chemical weapons we have listed here blister agents blood agents nerve agents and what is the convention the convention is organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons this is headquartered in the Hague basically the main aim of this convention is to see the world free of chemical weapons so all the chemical weapons are to be destroyed and no proliferation is accepted so that means the elimination of all chemical weapons is the main goal of this convention or OPC W. Next, some cabinet decisions. Permanent residency status will be given to foreign investors. This is in OG in countries like Hong Kong, Singapore. Here, permanent residency status will be granted up to 20 years. And basically, this is with a view to increase ease of doing business in our country. And certain conditions are kept 
please go through these conditions to get permanent residency status. This is with a view to increase the ease of doing business in our country and at the same time project development fund with a corpus of rupees 500 crore to explore business opportunities in CLMB countries. CLMB countries are underdeveloped countries in Asian region. There are several business opportunities and to explore business opportunities, rupees 500 crore, this project development fund was constituted. Right? Then changes from 2017-18, we deliberated in detail. This is merger of union budget with rail budget. That is one important development. Then presentation of a budget during last week of January, so as to eliminate OTAN account. OTAN account is permitted under Article 116 of the Constitution. That was the regular practice. And from this year onwards, OTAN account is not required, maybe except during the election year. And if you look at other development, plan and non-plan expenditure categories will not be there anymore. So, this plan and non-plan expenditure bifurcation is going to be removed. And the Shankar Acharya Committee will look at the aligning financial year with the calendar year. Then, genetically modified mustard is into the news. And GM Cotton was approved in 2002. And BT Brinjal was about to be approved, but government has not given approval in 2010. Now, people are talking about the GM mustard. This is developed by Delhi University. And the Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee is the nodal authority to look at these uh, approvals. That is one part. And the second important point, we deliberated present day problems with the BT cotton. I have listed out four problems. Bowl warm is also affecting BT cotton, high royalty charges, non-sharing of its technology with the local firms, market monopoly. These are the problems we are facing because of BT cotton. Then the next aspect is TMC, Trinamool Congress became the seventh national party of India. After BJP, Indian National Congress, CPM, CPI, BSP, NCP, TMC became the seventh national party and Trinamool Congress is recognized as a state party in West Bengal, Tripura, Manipur and Arunachal Pradesh. Because of that, it is included as national party. There are some stipulations for inclusion as national party. Please go through them. Union government notified National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme and the Prime Minister started it during the month of December and basically to give training to 50 lakh apprentices by 2019-20 and outlay is rupees 10,000 crore and the central government will share 25% of the stipend and the central government will also bear 50% of total expenditure basically to increase employability of the youth fifth nuclear test by North Korea and if you look at the North Korea please look into this slide I have given profile of North Korea and this is the fifth nuclear test and this fifth nuclear test is stronger than Hiroshima atom bomb of 15 kilotons then only China can control North Korea. But China is not doing it for its own reasons. I have listed all the things here. Then GST Council and Cabinet Decisions. Formation of GST Council as the Union Finance Minister as the Chairperson was approved. And here one important aspect is GST Council is a constitutional body. Very important as per Article 279A. And this is incorporated based on 101st Constitutional Amendment and Article 279A provides for Constitution of GST Council by the President within 60 days. These things are very important. And GST Network, this became controversial because of 51% shareholding by private financial institutions. So, if someone talks about GST network, here it is 
private limited company with the majority shareholding by private financial institutions. This is the answer you have to give. This created controversy because some of the people expressed apprehensions with regard to data secrecy. Then higher education financing agency was approved. Higher Education Financing Agency is basically to develop high quality infrastructure in premier educational institutions and the Human Resources Development Ministry will be behind it but it will be developed jointly with the identified promoter and Human Resources Development Ministry basically to make IITs, IIMs with world class laboratories. Then the next one is Union Cabinet approved the extension of contract between Ministry of Earth Sciences and International Seabed Authority for exploration of polymetallic nodules in international waters for exploration of polymetallic nodules. This was approved and International Seabed Authority, please go through it. This is based in Kingston, Jamaica. It was established based on UNCLOS, that is one part, it is intergovernmental organization. Basically, its role is to organize and control all mineral related activities in the international waters beyond national jurisdictions or you can say beyond 200 nautical miles. Look into the next issue. Sweeping reforms suggested by Arvind Subramanian Committee with regard to increase in production of pulses, that is one part. The National Health Accounts report was revealed. National Health Accounts, after a gap of nine years, this report was released and this health accounts belongs to the period 2013-14 and the previous National Health Accounts were of period 2004-05 that means this was held after 9 years basically to understand how the money is going to the health organizations whether it is from pocket whether it is through insurance here one interesting point is 72.9% of current expenditure is spent by households and the contribution of state government and central government is very less. We deliberated this points of concern. Please go through them. Uri, what next? After the Uri incident, we deliberated what is meant by line of control. Please go through this. And at the same time, what are the diplomatic options left for the country? Then what are military options? At the same time, under part 2, we deliberated what are the economic options? That is withdrawing most favored nation status. Most favored nation status is into the news because it is a general commitment to World Trade Organization. And next one is we talked about Indus Water Treaty also. These things please don't forget the salient features of Indus Water Treaty we deliberated and about western rivers, eastern rivers. So what will happen if India withdraws from Indus Water Treaty that also we deliberated then budget and cabinet decisions if you look at them direct communication link will be established between Chennai and Port Blair with the establishment of a submarine optical fiber cable below the sea optical fiber cable will be led then essential commodities act this came into the news this act belongs to 1955 this can be invoked and state governments can impose stock holding limits when prices are going out of control, when there is a scope for hoarding of commodities, then state governments can invoke this and the central government can declare any commodity as essential and subsequently states can choose whether to impose restrictions or not. Then NAM and India, we deliberated. NAM is losing its sheen, that is non-aligned movement. Our vice president attended. This is the second time, only second time when the head of the country has not attended and NAM was started by our Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru as well as Abdel Nazar of Egypt and at the same time Joseph Broz Tito of Yugoslavia. 
and now it is losing its sheen we deliberated in detail about it and the next one is with regard to india raises 16 ranks in global competitiveness index this is released by world economic forum and india raised 16 ranks and this is good news for india then slm2 baloch leader brahan dag bukti was in the news and india has got no clear cut slm policy that we deliberated and china blocked tributary of brahmaputra we deliberated in detail what are the consequences and finally we concluded there is nothing much to worry right friends with this let us conclude part 9 please do join for 10th part have a nice day thank you